Christmas, coming to you from Music City, Nashville, Tennessee. On November 16th, I'm proud to be giving a special musical performance streamed right into your homes for a really, really important cause, the Children's Tumor Foundation. It's called the National Celebration Concert to End NF. And it's going to be a terrific evening of entertainment, inspiration, and storytelling. All things that I love to do with my guitar in hand. I'm particularly humbled to be doing so for this special occasion on behalf of all those living with NF. NF patients are brave, they are fearless, they are heroes, and they deserve our support. So please join me and the Children's Tumor Foundation as we raise our voices together in the fight to end in that. Ladies and gentlemen, please take your seats as the Children's Tumor Foundation annual gala and national celebration concert is about to begin. Help us give a warm welcome to our spectacular hosts for the evening, Daryl Green, Jonathan Sadowski, and Raina Seitel. Hello, gentlemen, and hello, everybody. Good evening and welcome to the Children's Tumor Foundation Annual Gala and Celebration Concert. We are here. I am Raina Seitel coming to you live from New York, New York. I am Jonathan Sadowski and I am coming to you live from Toronto, Ontario. Hi everyone, I'm Daryl Green and I'm coming to you live from our nation's capital. We are absolutely delighted to be your live hosts for tonight's event, commemorating yet another incredible year for the Children's Tumor Foundation. Despite the year's unprecedented challenges, the foundation continued to push through all the boundaries and work tirelessly on behalf of the 2.5 million patients living worldwide with NF, or neurofibromatosis. Those patients and their families are the reason why we're all here tonight, virtually gathered from our own corners of the world to raise mission critical funds that will directly support the CTF's vision of ending NF. Jonathan, it has certainly been a year first for CTF and for all of us actually, especially during this global pandemic. But everybody, NF doesn't stop, so why should we? That's exactly right, Daryl. We should not stop, indeed. So from the first new drug approved for NF this spring to new clinical trials for NF2, schwannomatosis, and cutaneous NF, not to mention a year of virtual fundraising events, symposiums, and educational programs as CTF advances its global vision to end NF. But the foundation cannot do it alone. You are correct, Reina. That's right. And this is the reason why the three of us have come together tonight to raise a glass to those who are helping the Children's Tumor Foundation and NF. Our honorees, amazing CTF heroes and champions, AstraZeneca, Jack Burke, and Lillianne Brooks. And hey, not to mention our very own and very humble Jonathan Sadowski. So here's to you, my friend. You are too kind, you are too kind. And that is actually true tonight. I am so honored not only to be one of the hosts, but also be an honor honoree. Uh, later tonight, I'll be receiving the CTF Champion Award from the one and only baseball great and fellow CTF champion, Ian Desmond, who received this inaugural award last year. Truth be told, 
I could not be in better company as an honoree and as a co-host. Daryl, Reyna, you two are the best. I love you guys. And such phenomenal supporters of the NF community. Thank you for being here with me. And let's give a shout out to Jack Burke receiving our yes. humanitarian award and Lillianne Brooks receiving our national ambassador award. Both are true champions in our fight to end NF. Yes, indeed. And we can't forget AstraZeneca receiving our scientific innovation award for their global commitment to putting patients first and delivering new treatments in rare diseases such as NF. And ladies and gentlemen, to top the evening off, we are joined by three brilliant performers. Tony nominated Broadway actress, Danae Benton, multi-platinum singer-songwriter, Gavin DeGraw, and the Grammy award-winning Emmy Lou Harris, who is coming to us from Nashville with a special grand finale concert just for the CTF. It is going to be stellar. Wow, what a lineup. I can't wait to hear Gavin and Danae and the amazing voice of Emmy Lou. I'm just ready for it. I'm ready. Hope yes, you're ready sir. at home. I am with you. I am ready. Their voices are so incredible. We also want to take a brief moment to recognize our incredible co-chairs who helped make tonight possible. Please join us in extending a heartfelt thank you to Erica Hartman Horvis, Shelly Houghton, and Liz Rodbell, all of whom have been working hand in hand with the CTF staff, staff since March to make sure this event is a huge success and we know it will be. Absolutely, absolutely. Liz, Erica, Shelly, you're all so amazing and so dedicated. As, as has already been said, we could not do this without any of you. But before we get started, we have just two little simple housekeeping items that we want to ensure you that everyone will, will, will have everything they need for tonight's program. That's right. Closed captioning, closed captioning is available by clicking the closed captioning button at the bottom right hand corner of the YouTube window. And of course, we are all here to raise money and support our collective vision to end NF. So there are three easy ways that you can make a donation at any point tonight. Visit our website at ctf.org slash celebration. Visit text CTF donate to 41 444 or call 1-800-323-7938 where we have staff members waiting to take your call and you can see that information at the bottom of your screen. All right, ladies and gentlemen, friends and family of the Children's Tumor Foundation, let's officially kick things off tonight as we invite all of you to join us on a walk down memory lane. Since we can't all be together at Cipriani's Wall Street in New York City, clinking glasses and hugging. I mean, that, that seems wonderful right now. <laughs> seems like a dream. <laughs> we wanted to share a favorite moment from this annual event three years ago when we actually could be together. Not only will it make us smile, but it will re remind us all of why we're here tonight, even if from our respective homes. Good evening, my name is Jane Constable. I am 10 years old and I live in Connecticut. Good evening. My name is Philip Moss. I am 12 years old and I live in Alabama. <laughs> when I was three, my tumor had gotten big enough that my doctors thought I should start a treatment for it. The first medicine I took was a shot once a week. It only stopped because it only stopped my tumor from growing a little while. When I was six, I tried another medicine that didn't help at all. Then when I was seven, I got to try a new medicine called MEC. I've been on it for three years and my tumor has shrunk by 33%. When I was six years old, my doctors removed what they thought was a lymph node from a neck but instead found out it was a tumor. The tumor grew back and got big enough that my doctors also needed to find a way to stop it from growing. Like Jane, I took a medicine that seemed to slow down the tumor's growth, but then it stopped working. There was not another medicine or surgery to try. But when I was 10, I got to try MEC too. I've been on it for over two years, and it has shrunk my tumor by 50%. <laughs> It 
if we had not had the opportunity to enroll in the mech selunetinib trial, it is likely that our tumors would have continued to grow. But because of the research and funding and the work of CTF that has made our success possible, we can now say, Mech works. <laughs> So from Jane, me, and all the people that have experienced success on the MEC trial, we thank you. And we hope that you'll continue to support research at the Children's Tumor Foundation that will help to end an F in our lifetime. How absolutely adorable are those two? So I can't believe that was only so three. I can't believe that was only three years ago. Philip and Jane have grown so much since then, and they remain incredible examples of the impact of your contribution to the Children's Tumor Foundation and what it can have by funding mission critical research to end NF. It's one of the reasons we are honoring AstraZeneca tonight as well for their visionary and inspiring work in bringing new treatments to rare diseases, including NF. Yes. So true, CTF is proud to work alongside many incredible partners who share their vision to end NF from companies like AstraZeneca, as you mentioned, Jonathan, to families with personal connections to NF. It is my great pleasure to introduce you to one of those families tonight, someone who I am very proud to know. Please welcome one of CTF's beloved board members and one of tonight's visionary donors this evening, Mr. Frank Houghton. The Children's Tumor Foundation is making great strides. We have hope and a deep faith that through the work of this foundation, a cure for NF will come. If you don't have a cause, we invite you to join ours, a mission to find a cure for neurofibromatosis. You know, someone's dollar will be the dollar that finds that cure. Maybe it will be yours. We hope you'll join us. Thank you. Thank you, Frank, so much for that. And Frank's message is so beautiful and incredibly moving. CTF's cause is everyone's cause. And it is true that it might just take one more dollar, and that could be your dollar to cure NF. I hope we raise many dollars tonight to get closer to cures for NF. And in fact, I think we will get closer to the cures tonight yeah. as we just received breaking news, some amazing news. Frank and Shelly have generously offered to mat to offered a match of up to $1 million for funds raised tonight and through the end of the year for CTF's Discovery Fund for Innovative Research. Would it not be amazing if we could meet that million dollar match tonight? Yes, it would. I have had the pleasure of being with this family every year at the National Gala, and they are the kindest and most generous people. They are really incredible inside and out, and I'm just so excited about this amazing news. Incredible. Yes. Wow, wow, wow. Look, Raina, you know, I remember last year meeting the Halton's uh, at the event and seeing how generous they are. And tonight with their generous match, they just moved our goal line, football goal line. Our new goal tonight <laughs> is to meet $2 million. Let's do we it. Came in tonight. Yeah, that's exactly right. And even think about it, we're close. We came in tonight with about 800,000 and now we had 863 raised so Woo! far. Outstanding. Hey, come on, a little bit of love, a little bit of love. Now, we can meet that million dollar match. I know we can, I hope we can. Listen folks, no amount is too small. Every dollar counts. And every dollar now you know will be matched. So make your donation tonight. Here's a few ways. Visit us on our website, ctf.org slash celebrate. Or text us, CTF donate, that's CTF donate to 41444, 4, 4, 4, 4, or call us 1-800-323-7938, where staff members are waiting right now. Pick it up and call us. Let's go. <laughs> yes, you said it. 
up and call. I am so amazed. What incredible news. And here's more. To support our match efforts in honor of Frank and Shelly, Fellow board member Stuart Match Suna has made a fifty thousand dollar donation, and wow. former CTF board. Wow. Yes, wow. that deserves wow. Thank yeah. you so much. And thank you so much to former CTF board member Rick Horvitz, alongside his wife Erica Hartman Horvitz, who have made a one hundred thousand dollar donation. Another round of applause. Oh, so off to a really good start. I also want to thank some other donors tonight, including Bonnie Barnett, Charles Wagner, Sheila Drevayanko, and Michael Marzano. Thank you all so very much for your donations. Yeah. Keep them coming, people. Yes. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but I am feeling inspired. I am inspired yes. to give. I am inspired to be involved. And more importantly, I am more inspired than ever to be a uh, part of this NF community. And speaking of being inspired, soon we'll hear from CTF's visionary president, my good friend, Annette Bacher. Annette has taken the Children's Tumor Foundation to the next level with her innovative and collaborative approach to funding research. Yes, she has. I can't wait to hear from Annette. But first, let's enjoy the gorgeous voice of multi-platinum singer-songwriter Gavin DeGraw, someone I know we all adore. Yes. Hey, everyone, it's Gavin, and I just want to thank you all for joining us. Um, we're going to uh, do a little bit of music for you uh, as part of the celebration concert to end NF. Uh, I'd like to thank each and every one of you for paying attention out there and for participating, and thank the CTF for their role in uh, coming up with new treatments and, and, and uh, curing this disease and at least mitigating the symptoms of this disease. Um, so uh, let's get started. Let's play a little music and have a little bit of fun. Go back to uh, my first record. This is the title track for my first record, this chariot. Singing out loud to 
Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it one more time for the superbly talented Gavin DeGraw. Thank you, Gavin, not only for your performance, but for your message of hope. Now, it is my honor and privilege to introduce the CTF's president and my dear friend, Annette Bacher. Annette joins us tonight to give a glimpse into the future of NF and present our first award of the evening. There is a lot to be excited about. Thank you, Jonathan, my dear friend. Good evening, the world. Let me just tell you that we are close to 1,500 registrants. So from wherever you watch, thank you for being with us. And tonight is so special because of the amazing celebration co-chairs, Erica, Shelley, and Liz. You have worked tirelessly with the CTF team led by Michelle to make this night so special. Thank you. And for everybody who is tuning in tonight, you won't be disappointed. You have already seen our rock star level MC team lined up, our artists who are coloring the night with their music. And we have a $1 million match from the incredible Frank and Shelley Houghton. So if we raise 1 million, we actually raise two. When in March 2020, the world went on lockdown and so many people went on slowdown, not you, not us. We are unstoppable. And if there is one thing we learned this year is that how hard COVID has tried to separate us, we are unseparable in our fly, fight to end an F. And look at our 13 years old hero, Carson. When his local walk in Idaho went virtual, Carson had a dream. He wanted to go virtual in all 50 states. And not only did he get in the 50 states to participate, he also got into 10 countries. Congratulations, Carson. And in that Carson spirit, we have zoomed through the world in 2020. Zoom in Europe in the sometimes very early morning, Zoom in the US during the day, and Zoom in China at night. And in April, the NF community received the news we have been waiting for so long, the first ever FDA drug approved for NF. And you've seen the before and after pictures of the patients that were on the treatments whose tumor shrunk by 20, 30, up to 50%. And this is because of supporters like you, who funded the research that showed that this was possible. And for Frankie and his parents, it has literally changed their life. Frankie's tumors were so severe and wrapped around his neck that he was losing his ability to breathe. He couldn't walk, he couldn't talk, he couldn't smile and surgery was not an option. Frankie entered the MEC clinical trial and his tumors have shrunk by 33%. And now Frankie walks. And where there is one victory, there can be more. The drug is now approved in the US and hopefully soon in many other countries. And because of your support, we also have now the first NF2 patients enrolled in our world premier innovative platform trial. And because of you, we are recruiting patients in the first ever clinical trial for schwannomatosis pain. And also because of you, we have the first cream that we're testing um, to treat cutaneous neurofibromas. This is not theoretical science. This is progress. This is what is possible when we all come together and to fund ideas that turn into life-changing realities for patients. But we're not done yet. We want treatments for all patients, and we can do it. United, audacious in our commitment, and determined. Thank you for your continuous support. And now I'd like to introduce my unstoppable, bold and brave NF hero. This young man, just 15 years old, has sparked a movement. I'm so in awe of him, and people know I love him. Because what he has accomplished to fight an F is incredible. Let's watch this brief video about my dear friend, Jack Burke, and his inspiring NF story. Within the first six months after Jack was born, he developed 
um, some cafe au lait spots. Uh, we didn't know anything about it. When he was two, we had to go to a local pediatrician and she, um, after examining Jack, said, I think that he has neurofibromatosis. You should see a specialist. When you first get a diagnosis as a parent, um, the unknown is overwhelming. In every way, um, neurofibromatosis impacts Jack. A tumor can grow on any nerve ending in your body. So uh, Jack has a few on his back, a few, uh, one on his glioma and one in his left eye. I have had a lot of surgeries. NF also makes you smaller than other kids, also makes it harder for you to, to develop muscle. So, you know, I've always been the smallest kid in my class. It was harder for me to do sports than other kids. It was harder for me to do other activities. He's had to work really hard um, to... Uh, for everything. For everything. When Jack was first diagnosed, Jake and I didn't know what we were getting into. We soon realized that we had to do something. We started the foundation Cure NF with Jack, and basically CTF and Cure NF with Jack, they work for the same thing, which is giving money to research for a cure. I think it's really cool how we started a charity that helps me and helps a lot of other kids too. We've been involved directly and indirectly with Children's Tumor Foundation since Jax was two years old. The passion that they do their work with, the compassion that accompanies that, is just, uh, is just amazing. The thing I love most about Jack is probably how tough he is, and he's really caring, and he really encourages us to do stuff that we're afraid of. Jack has NF, but NF doesn't have him. He's a fighter, and he's brave, and he's very inspiring. You know, you had to persevere through it. You can do stuff to, to make it better. You can raise money. You can just tell people about it so more, more people know about it, which means more, more money goes to NF research. He's taken this on and is making it something that is going to be helpful, not only for him, but for, for the world. If I work harder, there will be eventually a cure for this NF. I am so proud to introduce to you our humanitarian award tonight, Mr. Jack Burke. Thank you very much, Dr. Parker, for those kind words, and thank you for leading CTF to where it is today. I am very honored to receive the 2020 Humanitarian Award from CTF. And thank you to the CTF staff and everybody involved with this amazing event, highlighting NF and raising dollars and awareness. I would like to thank my parents, my brother Luke and my sister Grace for their continued support. Also, thank you to my teachers, friends and family, especially my grandparents. Also, I want to wish a happy birthday to my Uncle Danny Burke, who's turning 50. You're getting old. This has been quite a journey for me, and someone who, who battles NF every day. I have been fortunate to have many friends who have joined me in the cause to find a cure through Cure NF with Jack. I would like to thank my board members. Every one of them does su such hard work and gives their time, talent, and treasure. Yet, none of them have family members that have NF. I think that fact alone is incredible. There are people in this NF community who have inspired me and, who I'm, and whom I look up to every day. I want to remember one of my NF heroes, Drew Leathers, who led the way for Keep It's Only, only Run. I would like to set, I would like to send a special hello and a virtual hug to his mom, Miss Fran Cohn. I could not name everybody without forgetting someone, but I do want to say thank you to my friend Philip Moss and many others for being the first patients to try out the new 
AstraZeneca drug that shows great promise. Also, I also want to say a continued good luck to my friends Tyler Nepal and Travis Carpenter, who both had surgeries this week. Stay strong, guys. I think it is really important to thank all my doctors and nurses who have taken care of me over the past years. They are all very special people. I also want to thank the NF research, researchers who, who work every day to find a cure. Having an F can be tough, but I know I must remain positive. One of my doctors, Dr. Rob Avery, once said, Jack might have an F, but an F does not have him. I think those are some great words. And remind me to keep going and to keep fighting. To all my supporters, no matter where you are or what you have done for me, thank you. One more thing, I know for sure we cannot end NF alone. We all must work together towards a cure. With this in mind, I am proud to announce tonight that Cure NF with Jack is supporting CTF's efforts on this great evening in the amount of $300,000. I finally urge you to join us to match this amount or any other to give what you can and really fight NF tonight. Thank you. Oh, Jack, I am without words. I miss you Thank even you. more now. I wish I we were together so I could give you a hug yeah, and room for you and your family in person. Thank you so much. Yeah. Oh, my dear Jack. I know I'm, I have a script to follow, but oh my God, I'm without words. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're doing so much. You're literally changing the world. And now I have a message for everybody who is watching tonight. I hope this inspiring story inspires you to donate because together we can do it. And please remember, Shelly and Frank are matching dollar for dollar up to a million. Thank you. I'm very emotional. I'm sorry. Ladies and gentlemen, that is what tonight is all about. Daryl, I am moved. I am absolutely moved. And you know, you know, it's, it's true what they say, not all heroes wear capes. And Jack, my friend, I look forward to watching your star rise because you have a bright future ahead of you. Yes. I have met so many young kids living with NF as the host of the LA Kids Fashion Show, and they are all individually so inspiring. And Jack just confirmed my lifelong commitment to the Children's Tumor Foundation. He is just one of many fighting for treatments, but so determined and so very unstoppable. NF never defines these kids or deters them from doing anything they put their minds to. It's just incredible. I hope everyone tonight is as moved as I am to make a donation to, to support the Children's Tumor Foundation's vision to end NF and to help us meet our $1 million match to fund innovation in NF research through the Discovery Fund. Remember, you have three ways to donate tonight. Visit our website, ctf.org slash celebration. You can also text CTF donate to 41444, or you can do it the good old fashioned way and pick up the phone and call 1-800-323-7938, where we have staff members waiting to take your call. Let's meet that match. Jonathan, gosh, I'm so glad. <laughs> I was so glad you had to go first. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gracious, Annette and Jack, goodness. Wow, why am I here? <laughs> this guy is gonna be the future host, he better be. Well, let me try to get through mine, Annette, like you did. Um, we're all moved and, and hopefully we'll move to do something. But obviously we have other surprises that we wanna move on to and I'm gonna try to do that. Uh, Raina, you guys stand with me, hang in there with me. <laughs> Everybody at home as well, as we get ready to honor AstraZeneca with the Scientific Innovation Award. But first of all, let's meet a few more of our incredible and inspiring patients who are helping CTF make NF visible. 
My name is Julia and I want you to see me and Sienna. I want people to know that I'm a little different and they know, I want them to know that I have more tumors around my body. I instantly say I have neurofibromatosis. It's a genetic disorder that causes tumors to grow on my body. Would you like to learn more about it? I don't have a lot of neurofibromas or a lot of capillate spots that's visible to the world. Just look, you can't see who I am. I guess that's the answer to the question. You can only see what you can see, which is true of anybody. Make NF visible for those who don't have a visible like aspect. They have brain surgeries. I've, I've had brain surgeries. Sometimes when people don't understand what something is, they get scared. It's hard. It's really hard when you're young. Then you really have to deal with that. You have to deal with constantly being stared at, reminded that you do look differently. When you're faced with a, a disorder like NF, and if it runs in your family, in my particular case, my son has it. That's how we found it. Not all people know that I had five surgeries. Even just just doing simple tasks sometimes take a lot more out of me because my body is fighting this. I'm not freaky. I'm not weird. I'm not some alien. I'm like my other peers, I'm like everyone else. Sometimes I get scared when they see my tumors. When I walk into a room, I feel really shy. I wonder whether or not I should tell them or not, or what, and if I do, like, are they gonna see me differently? Like, how, like are they gonna understand? I feel like it's kind of coming for me eventually, um, just having these tumors. When I'm experiencing pain or symptoms because of my NF, I feel sort of guilty. I have one of the more unique things with neurofibromatosis, which is called pseudoarthrosis. If you look at me, you can't really see that I have an F, but like sometimes when like my tumors, like they start hurting. They ask me why I have so many birthmarks, and I tell them that it's because I have an F. It's not so easy to be um, me. I find an F by staying strong, even through the hard times, and just knowing that everything's gonna be okay. My name is Dane, and I want you to see me. See me. See me, and see NF. And see NF. Hi, my name is Philip Moss. I am 15 years old, and I live with NF1. Thanks to Children's Tumor Foundation, I am on a medication that has shrunk my tumor by 53%. My family and I have so much more hope for the future. Hello, I'm Kirsta. I'm Michael. And I'm Cooper Norris. Our son Cooper started medication two years ago to shrink a tumor. At the time, it was nearly doubling in size every 18 months. Since then, Cooper's tumor has shrunk 21% and we're able to breathe much easier as a family. I'm happy that the Children's Tumor Foundation believed in this research because now I can relax and have a good life with my family. Hi, I'm Leanne Brooks and I'm 19 years old. I have NF1. Funding from the Children's Tumor Foundation has led to my current course of treatment. So far, my tumors have shrunk over 20%. I'm able to do things I haven't done in a long time, like walk long distances without pain. The future of NF looks bright. My name is Brianna Warden. I'm 23 years old and I was born with neurofibromatosis type 1. I have been on several medications before in hopes to shrink some of my tumors and unfortunately it hasn't worked until now. I have been on a medication for about a year now and my tumors have shrunk over 23%. So thank you to the Children's Tumor Foundation. It's because of you that my quality of life has improved. Hey, I'm Eli Jubi and I'm 12 years old. Hello, I'm Lindsay, Eli's dad. And I'm Hannah, Eli's mom. When our son Eli was diagnosed with NF2 six years ago, we were devastated to find that there are no NF2 specific treatments available. As Eli grows, his tumors are growing also, which means we need options now. I don't know what my future will be like with NF2, but I know that the Children's Tumor Foundation is working hard to help find and fund treatments. Hi, I'm Jack Burke, and I'm 15 years old. There are no treatments for my tumors, and I worry about my future and the future of other patients like myself who do not have a treatment option. This is why we need to dig deep tonight to support CTF's efforts to fund more treatments for patients like us, and why all of us are honored to present the Scientific Innovation Award to AstraZeneca 
for their work in finding new treatments for patients with NF and other rare diseases. No one should have to worry about what tomorrow will bring. AstraZeneca and the Children's Tumor Foundation are providing us all with hope. Please join us in welcoming Chadwick Paul and accepting the award for this evening. Thank you to the Children's Tumor Foundation for this award. And a special thank you to Jack, Lillian, Brianna, Philip, Cooper, and Ellie. I'm so honored to be receiving tonight's Scientific Innovation Award from each of you who are true NF heroes. It is an honor to be recognized today for our work in advancing care for children living with NF1. Putting patients first is at the heart of everything we do at AstraZeneca. So we are truly humbled by this recognition. At AstraZeneca, we have a rich heritage in scientific innovation. Every day, we push the boundaries of science to advance the practice of medicine. But this important work never happens alone. It is only achieved by coming together with our partners, researchers, academia, and most importantly, you, the parents, children, and advocates working to end NF. We also know that medicines are only one piece of the care needed for families dealing with NF. And so we thank you for continuing to advocate for what more is needed. I am personally inspired by the extraordinary progress that this community has made in just the past few years. So today, I'd like to celebrate you for your leadership. We admire your passion and dedication, and we feel lucky to work alongside you, especially during these most extraordinary times. Thank you for participating in clinical trials, for supporting one another, and for lifting your voices to ensure that all people receive quality care, that no one is left behind. We, like you, envision a day when people can live their lives free of the pain and the difficulties that come with NF. I'm excited by the promise for the future and proud to be working with partners like CTF to address the needs of the NF community. Thank you. You know, Jonathan, I have had the pleasure, as have you, to meet all of these NF heroes throughout the years, and I continue to remain so moved by all of the NF heroes we've seen tonight and those living with NF around the world. Imagine having a disease but not having any treatment, living every day with uncertainty. This is the reason why we are here tonight, to ensure that no patient ever has to worry for their future, to ensure that there are more treatments approved by the FDA, and to ensure that CTF can continue to fund mission-critical research through the Discovery Fund. With your help, we can get closer to meeting our million dollar match tonight. Well, Raina, uh, friends at home, are you ready for an update? We're ready. I yes. am thrilled to share that we have raised $1,362,000 so far tonight, putting us just $500,000 away from meeting our match in one night. Remember, you can still make a donation tonight, and there are three very easy ways that you can donate right now. Visit our website, ctf.org slash celebration. You can also text CTF donate to 41444, or you can call 1-800-323-7938, where we have staff members standing by waiting to take your call. Now let's end NF together. Yes, what an incredible number. I, I hear the phones ringing off the hook. So thank you also to the amazing donors for getting us closer to meeting our match. We have some names for you. Ken Goodkind, Mickey O'Day, Michael and Kelly Peterson, Susan and R.B. Harrison, a CTF board member, Clara and Scott Wilpon, Vicki Matsuna in honor of her beautiful daughter Rose, who I know, James Halliday, Anita Gribben, Heath Escalio. We are so grateful for your continued support to help end NF. Now it is my pleasure to introduce one more time the musical stylings of Gavin DeGraw. 
Thanks for listening. Um, we got a couple more for you. We're going to do... Um, this is one about being um, a soldier for somebody. This song is uh, it's called Soldier, and um, it can be interpreted as, as uh, anyone who's out there who is willing to, to stand up for somebody and, uh, and do for them, but perhaps what they're not capable of doing for themselves. So uh, I want to thank you guys uh, for participating in this event and uh, getting out there and, uh, and helping somebody else out. Here we go. Thank you guys so much for listening out there. I want to thank the, uh, all the people from CTF for all the great work that you do. Um, and everyone out there who, who's watching, listening, and uh, spreading the word about uh, what we're doing here, this concert, um, this concept, and, uh, and this disease, and, and getting all the help out there that we need to get out there. To all the NF patients out there, I know you guys are strong, and you're, and you're tough, you're brave. Um, we just want to let you guys know we love you. You're doing great. We're going to get through this thing, and um, 
and uh, let, let's make some more, more music here and have a good time and get the word out. We love you. Uh, thanks again for participating, everybody. And I'm going to play you one more song here. This is the first hit song I ever, uh, I ever had. Um, it's called I Don't Want to Be. I wrote this song, uh, feels like a gazillion years ago, um, and this song changed my life. And uh, hopefully it means something to you, all of you out there. And this song is about being proud of who you are and uh, proud of your identity. And, uh, and it's okay to be you. Make sure you feel that way. It's okay to be you. I don't need to be anything other than a prison guard son. I don't need to be anything other than a specialist son. I don't have to be anyone other than the birth of two souls in one. Part of where I'm going. guys for listening uh we hope you enjoyed this series to all the other uh, uh people out there participating we're sending you love and hope and um continued success we'll see you next time bye The talent that is Gavin DeGraw, so awesome. Wow. And what really strikes me, yeah, round of applause for Gavin. But, you know, guys, what really strikes me is that his music and his message both totally resonate with the mission that is the Children's Tumor Foundation. So our hats off to you, Gavin. Thank you so, so, so much for being here with us tonight. And I don't know about you, Daryl and Jonathan, but I am not quite sure if we could replicate tonight's incredible passion for CTF's mission, mission if we were, in fact, in person.
not sure. But Philip, Eli, Cooper, Brianna, Lily, Ann, and Jack, they are all the reason that we are here together tonight. Even if some of us are at home watching this incredible evening on our TVs or computers in our jammies, or perhaps spending the evening with family all while raising a glass to the mission to end NF. Absolutely. And speaking of raising a glass, let's raise a glass, a hand clap, a big thank you to Frank and Shelly Halton for their generous match of $1 million. Woo! Wow. Outstanding. Yes, yes indeed. Woohoo. Now let's take a moment also <laughs> and see where we are against our big goal of $2 million tonight. And then let's look at who's donating. Check it out. Come on, Jonathan, tell us about it. All right, fellas, we have an amazing night going on, and I am thrilled to share with each and every one of you that we have raised another $85,000, bringing our total to $1,447,000, and so much closer to beating our $1 million match. That's $583,000 tonight going towards that generous match. We are so very close. Here are some more amazing donors who have helped us get closer to cures and meeting our match. CTF board members Richard Soul and Randall Stinicky, as well as Doris Engel, Pam Blank, Christina Wasserstein, Salvo La Rosa, Leon Fallick, The Hogs, Marilyn Birdwell, NNF for Henry, and Thomas Winston. Thank yes. you all. Thank you so Thank much you to all of these Thank donors. All. What amazing numbers. Hello. Wow. Yes, wow. that is so cool. So now it is my favorite time of the event to announce the new CTF National Ambassador, a role bestowed on a patient who embodies the heart and the soul of what all NF patients live with day in and day out. I have hosted this event live in New York for a number of years now, and watching this award being given is always such a treat for me. So ladies and gentlemen, it is my great pleasure to introduce CTF's 2020 National Ambassador, Brianna Warden, who will pass the baton to the 2021 National Ambassador, the amazing Lily Ann Brooks, whose dear friend and Tony-nominated Broadway actress Deanne Benton has a very special surprise message for Lily Ann as she accepts her award. Since November 2009, I have been honored to represent the Children's Tumor Foundation as the 2020 National Ambassador. While 2020 did not go exactly as we planned, my year as the national ambassador has been nothing short of amazing. Even though I wish I could see all of your beautiful faces in person, I know that these virtual events this past year are for the best. I had the ability to meet so many wonderful NF families virtually, as well as donors who I'm so incredibly thankful for. Having NF has taught me to enjoy the little things in life to be positive and to live my life to the best that I can. NF does not define who I am, but it has helped me be the strong person I am today. Thank you to my family who has supported me through thick and thin, who has been my backbone, has lifted me up when I felt like I was sinking and who have been my biggest cheerleaders this year. I love you all with my heart and soul. And now I have the honor and pleasure of introducing you to someone so very special. She's an NF hero who has showcased nothing but positivity, resilience, and determination. Although I cannot physically hand over to you this award, I am so honored to be able to pass the ambassador torch to her. Congratulations to the Children's Tumor Foundation 2021 National Ambassador, Lillianne Brooks. As far as I can remember, I've had NF. I took her to the pediatrician when she was nine months old, and the pediatrician just noticed something wasn't right about her palate. 18 months later, we found Bruce Kaur, who then said, I think she has NF. I said, oh man, you know, we've been going for nine months trying to get a diagnosis. I really appreciate that. And that's when he said, there's no cure. It's certainly something that uh, was not in the cards that we had planned out for our life and certainly had never hoped for that for her life. 
I'd have scans every six months to monitor my tumors and I'd have doctor visits, but that was really about it. For the first um, 16 years of her life, we watched as the tumors grew and there was nothing really we could do. It was heartbreaking. I joined the Cellumetin clinical trial in 2016. Being told you have this uncurable, nasty disease your entire life, and then suddenly being told that you're beating it. You know, I can't even describe the feeling I had. I just remember crying. Lillian is phenomenal. She sets no limits to what she should be able to accomplish. She is uh, uh, a fighter, and she is a positive influence uh, on us and her brothers and everybody around her. My whole motivation is not letting NF define who I can be and who I want to be as a person. And you know, if there are things that NF stops me from doing, I just move on. I say, okay, it's one little thing. Look at all the things I can do. So I've been involved with the Children's Treatment Foundation for a very long time. And the more we got to know about the foundation, uh, the more we wanted to get involved with it. Cupid's Undy Run in Orlando alone has raised over half a million dollars. We've been to walks, we've been to forums, we've done racing for research, we've done Cupid's, everything you could think of. We knew we could have an impact, we knew there was hope, and we got involved. I am going to be the 2021 National Ambassador for the Children's Tumor Foundation and I couldn't be more excited to be that example for every individual and show them NF doesn't have to be this horrible thing. We're all strong and fighters and we can do anything we put our minds to. Thank you so much, Brianna. It's an honor to have this position after you. Of course. Congratulations. Thank you. Good evening, everyone, and thank you for tuning in tonight. I'm incredibly honored and thankful to be chosen as your 2021 National Ambassador. Becoming an NF Ambassador was always a childhood dream of mine. I remember watching past ambassadors and asking my dad, how could I do that when I was just seven? My journey with neurofibromatosis type 1 has been a long road. NF has caused tumors throughout my spinal column, neck, chest, and partially in my right arm. In addition to tumors, NF has also caused severe inoperable scoliosis, bending my spine beyond a 90 degree angle, as well as vision problems, twisted bones, learning issues, and some pain. Despite all of that, my parents made sure I lived as normal as possible. This wasn't always easy, considering I had to have scans done every six months, but it was all I ever knew. In 2016, after 15 years of living with NF and being told that there were no options and no treatments, I had the incredible opportunity to participate in a clinical trial at the National Institutes of Health. We didn't know if it would work, or what the effects could be, but it was the first maybe we'd ever had. And I knew that I had to try. I'll never forget the feeling I had when I heard them say shrinkage. After having no options my entire life, this feeling was indescribable. I couldn't hold back my tears because for the first time ever, I had control of my tumors. Since starting this trial, I have seen just over 20% shrinkage and I've had almost no growth. I cannot even express how grateful I am for this medication. It wouldn't have been possible without your donations. So thank you to every single person who has supported the Children's Tumor Foundation. I have never and will never let NF hold me back. Has it caused a few detours? Yes. But I decided a long time ago that NF will not define who I am or what I do. I do so much that many said I would never do. 
like drive a car, attend college, and live independently away from my parents. When someone looks at me, I don't want them to see the sick girl. I fight too hard and I work too hard to be known for what I can do and to be known for what I'm going to do. This coming year, I want to be a voice and an example for everyone with NF, that we are capable of accomplishing anything and we do not have to be defined by a diagnosis. I want to leave you with this. No matter what anyone tells you, you are brave and you are amazing. And NF does not have to stop you. We are survivors, we are strong, and we can do anything. Thank you. Lily Ann, congratulations. We are all so proud of you, and it is such a blessing to get to watch you accept the honor of being the Children's Tumor Foundation National Ambassador. I remember meeting you and being struck by your fervor for life in theater and love of art like myself. And you are such an incredible example of having the courage to shine bright and show all of the kids that are touched by this foundation to live fearlessly with no boundaries and to dream big. To honor this big day for you, I would love to sing this song from Children of Eden, which is called The Spark of Creation, which reminds me of how you live your life. You've got that spark of creation within you. I got a niching on the tips of my fingers. I got a boiling in the back of my brain. I got a hunger burning inside me, cannot be denied. I got a feeling that the Father who made us, when he was kindling the pulse in my veins, he left a tiny spark of that fire smoldering inside. The spark of creation is flickering within me. The spark of creation is blazing in my blood. To bid up the fire that lit up the stars and breathe life into the mud. The first inspiration of the spark of creation. I see a mountain and I want to climb it. I see a river and I want to leave shore. Where there was nothing, let there be something, something made by me. There's things waiting for me to invent them. There's worlds waiting for me to explore. I am an echo of the eternal cry of let there be the spark of it's burning bright within me the spark of creation won't let me rest at all until i discover or build or uncover the thing that i can call my own celebration of the spark of creation the spark of creation may it burn forever spark of creation. I am a keeper of the flame. You think all you want is a lifetime of leisure, each perfect day the same, an endless vacation. Well, that's all right if you're some kind of crustacean, but when you're born with that imagination, sooner or later you're feeling the fire get hotter and higher. The spark of creation. Congratulations again, Lily Ann. Never stop shining your light. Keep fighting and never forget that spark of creation because the NF community needs you. Congrats again. Wow, Raina, you are right. The crowning of the ambassador is very special. Matter of fact, I remember last year in New York at the National Gala when Brianna was crowned. And I tell you, Lillian is going to be one of the most beautiful ambassadors for the foundation, her beauty to spark creation and all of us with her story and her poise is just incredible. What a great night. She is so incredible. You said it absolutely. And the resilience is amazing. 
So, Daryl, question for you. Are you ready for some fun? Yes, I am. <laughs> Excellent. Well, our very own co-host this evening is being honored with the CTF Champion Award. Now, while he can't run a 40-yard dash like you can, but I hear you've challenged him, actually. More on that later. I have seen his pure and unwavering commitment to CTF on behalf of the NF heroes he has met. I'm so delighted to see him be honored with the CTF Champion Award after all that he has done this year from hosting the May Zoomathon, which we were both a part of, to the LA Cocktails and Fashion Show, to the Halloween Bash, and of course, tonight's event, all virtual from wherever he may be in the world. Our man, the man, the myth, the legend, Jonathan, you are truly awesome, my friend. And to present you with your award is last year's CTF champion, a true champion on and off the field. Jonathan, please receive Colorado Rockies baseball player, Ian Desmond. Thank you, Daryl and Raina. Tonight has been so inspiring, and I'm even more moved hearing all the stories of all the courageous NF heroes. Jack, Lillian, Brianna, Cooper, Jane, and Philip, you all make the Children's Tumor Foundation shine brighter. You are the reasons why we are also passionately committed to funding new treatments. You are all my champions. Speaking of champions, last year I had the absolute pleasure of receiving the first ever Children's Tumor Foundation Award because of my work with the foundation in honor of dear friend Ethan Brown, who is living with NF2. Each and every day I am moved by Ethan and his fight with NF, and by all of the other NF patients I am fortunate to meet. It is both a pleasure and a blessing. But today I have the incredible honor of presenting this year's CTF Champion Award to my friend and fellow CTF advocate, Jonathan Sadowski. Jonathan became involved with the Children's Tumor Foundation in 2015 when he began hosting the annual kids fashion show in LA, as well as the Los Angeles NF Walk. And soon after he was on the TV show Chopped on the Food Network playing for CTF. And he hasn't stopped since. In fact, his involvement has continued to grow each year. He still hosts the Kids Fashion Show, which is so much fun, but this year alone, he has also hosted the NF Awareness Month Zoomathon in May, the recent Halloween Bash, and this year's gala, helping to raise millions of dollars for CTF's mission. Jonathan doesn't know how to stop, and let's hope he never does. Before I present Jonathan with this award, please join me in watching a quick video of Jonathan and his involvement with the Children's Tumor Foundation. Together, we'll take a stand to ending NF. Friends and extended family of the Children's Funeral Foundation, I am Jonathan Sadowski, and welcome to Home is Where the Heart Is. I think a large portion is, you know, contributing financially is one thing, but also just getting into the discussion and, mm -hmm. and, aware and, and raising awareness yeah. is another. Um, so that's what we're trying to do with this. Double, double, toil and trouble. It's a joy to be around these kids. You have all these kids from, you know, four years old to, to 15 years old. Um, and then there's a, there's a fashion show and there's, there's a silent auction and they, they paint these amazing pictures and people bid on them. If they found a cure for NF tomorrow, what's the first thing you would do, Marco? Party with Jonathan, correct answer. <laughs> all right. <laughs> we really cut loose, baby. <laughs> what would you like to say to all the people at the CTF who are working nonstop to find a cure? You deserve donuts. You deserve donuts. <laughs> Playing for the Children's Tumor Foundation, Jonathan Sadowski. Every time I kind of think, oh, life is kind of hard, I just I think about those kids and it gives me enough to keep going. We can never comprehend or relate to what they've gone through in their life already. Yeah. Surgery after surgery, living day to day with a brain tumor. We can't, we can't wrap our heads around that. Mm -hmm. And you realize like what the bigger picture is and you, you just want to help. It's yeah. like to look in their eyes and see like what they've gone through, you can't help but get involved. Jonathan, in a nutshell, you're awesome. There are so many people around the country and around the world who love you for doing what you do in the fight to end NF. 
While we can't be together in person, Jonathan, thank you. It is a true honor to present you with the award, the 2020 Children's Tumor Foundation Champion. Ian, thank you. What an amazing evening made even more awesome because I'm accepting this award from you, someone who is a true champion both on and off the baseball field. Your work with the Children's Tumor Foundation and all the NF patients has inspired me beyond what you know. I appreciate all that you do and I know everyone living with NF really, really appreciates what you do. So thank you. I am touched and I am honored to be receiving this award from the Children's Tumor Foundation tonight. And I am just so sorry that we can't all be there together in person, but I know we will be together next year. You know, five years ago when I was asked to host the Kids Fashion Show in LA, uh, I had no clue that my life would forever be changed by the NF patients that I had met and watched them grow up since. Grace, Ryder, Maddox, Maya, Star, Jeremiah, Ariana, Leona, Marco, and Manny, and so many more. Not only have I had a chance to get to know them, but in watching them grow up, I feel like I have become a part of their NF journey. Because of them, I can't imagine not being a part of the Children's Tumor Foundation family. Like you, Ian, there is not a day that goes by that I am not moved because of just how special each and every NF patient is. This year, I had an absolute blast hosting the Zoomathon in May, uh, the Halloween Bash, and tonight's annual gala and celebration concert to end NF. Helping the CTF raise much needed critical funds and awareness is something that I am incredibly honored to do and I will not stop. My life has been made better because of the CTF and because of all the NF patients and families fighting for new treatments to make their lives better. Thank you to my friend Kim Robinson in Los Angeles and Annette Bacher, the CTF president, for bringing me into your world and welcoming me with open arms and forever changing mine for the better. Thank you for honoring me. I am incredibly touched, I am incredibly moved, and I am forever grateful. Thank you for letting me be one of your Children's Tumor Foundation champions. Thank you. This is like my fifth tissue of the night. You're making me cry, John. <laughs> You're so incredible, truly. And I just want to give you a virtual hug from all of us at, at the foundation. We just love you oh, and you. adore you. You are incredible. So thank you for that, except for making me cry. <laughs> <laughs> but as I said, thank you so much for sharing this evening and this honor with us. You, Lillianne, Jack, and Brianna are CTF's true heroes in their vision to end NF. And with each of you as a part of the organization, we will end NF together. Oof. Um, Reina, Reina and Daryl, thank you. Uh, as I have said, I am truly honored and touched to be a part of the CTF family. Having met some of these young patients and their families when I became involved with the Children's Tumor Foundation oh, five years ago, I couldn't think of not being involved. Um, my life, like their lives, has been changed forever by NF. And because of them, I hope we are, even, we are all even more committed to NF, to ending NF. I hope everyone will consider making a donation tonight if you have not already, or consider making even a second donation. <laughs> because, you know, more <laughs> is more. <laughs> Every dollar is matched up to $1 million because of our two most generous donors. And it could not be easier to make a donation with us. Visit our website, ctf.org slash celebration, or you can text CTF donate to 41444, or you can do it, like I said, the good old fashioned way and pick up your phone and dial 1-800-323-7938 our phones are ringing off the hook. If you don't get an answer right away, please leave us a voicemail and we will be sure to call you back. Wow, that's right, Jonathan. It's so easy to support us and uh, help us reach that million dollar match goal. It's easy. And let me just take, as you mentioned, there's some special folks who have given on a large scale, but there's a lot of great supporters. And I wanna just take a moment to recognize a few of our incredible donors. Bill Brooks, he's the father of our ambassador, Lillianne Brooks. Team Top, they've been with us for a long time. Stuart and Marcy Goldner. Janice Harrison, J Janice Harrison, 
Randy and Jeff Levine, Eric and Lisa Gloria, Thomas Taylor, that's your friend, huh? Shannon <laughs> McNall, Bill Ritter, Tila Falick, if I didn't mess up your name, please forgive me. Tina Rosser, the Clayton family, the Moss family, and Wendy Danny, Danke, Danke. I know I said that right. So we can thank you each, or should I say, we can't thank you enough for what you've done tonight and your generous support throughout the years. God bless you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, and now without further ado, it is tonight, uh, it is time for tonight's headlining performance. Up next, we have a spectacular concert from the brilliant Grammy Award winning Emmy Lou Harris, who put together a special set just for us and tonight's celebration. Now, let's sit back and relax as we head to Nashville with the legendary Emmy Lou. We'll see you after a performance to reveal tonight's fundraising totals. Yes. Good evening, everyone. I am delighted to be with all of you tonight from Nashville, my hometown, to celebrate the Children's Tumor Foundation's commitment to ending NF and to be a part of this tremendous national celebration concert to end NF, even if it's virtually. Wow, what a year we have had. And I certainly wish we could all be together in person in New York City, a place I love and spent um, some time as a struggling young artist there trying to build my music career. But despite COVID, I am touched that we can be together from our respective homes to celebrate all of the Foundation's tremendous successes this year on behalf of NF patients. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to join you all this evening. And uh, I'm delighted to have my good friend, John Randall, who's going to help me on these songs. So here we go. Why don't you call me? Do you think I won't answer? That's one of my few rather happy songs. This is another one we're gonna do now. Um, I actually 
mm. wrote this song with a, a wonderful songwriter and artist from Austin, Texas, uh, Kimmy Rhodes. And, um, wrote it for our children, and now we sing it also for our grandchildren. But send it out tonight for all the children, wishing them love and happiness. Here's a wishing well. That makes you smile Every diamond dream Everything that brings Love and happiness To your life Here's a rabbit's foot Take it when you go So you from harm Wear your ruby shoes When you're far away So you'll always stay Home in your heart You'll always have a lucky star Shine because of what you are Even in the deepest Cause your aim is true And if I could only have one wish Darling, then it would be this Love and happiness Let my 
But I can't find in myself to let my songbird go. I just can't let her go. It's a beautiful Jesse Winchester song that I've always loved. I hear that because of your activism and advocacy these past years, the Children's Tumor Foundation seed funded the research that led to the first drug ever to be approved for NF. This is just remarkable. It provides hope for the future. In fact, activism and advocacy are very important to me. To be an advocate means that you care about and for others. And I can see how all of you care for each other as a family, support each other, and ensure that needed funds are raised to advance NF research so that treatments can be found for all NF patients. And I'm so impressed by the mission of the Children's Tumor Foundation. It reminds me of another organization, one that I am a member of, the American Academy of Arts and Sciences. Both are dedicated to honoring excellence and leadership across all disciplines to advance the common good. As each long day rolls by and falls behind In the lonely night there's a peacefulness John Randall and I just worked that up. Well, actually, John Randall, <laughs> I said, come and sing some songs with me. And, uh, and I hit him with a whole bunch of things that we had never done together. I love it. <laughs> including this two. next song. Uh, I wrote this, uh, I don't know, I, I, I don't write a lot of songs, but somehow this little, little movie came to me in three minutes. Uh, of course, a very sad movie of... Uh, uh, love lost, <laughs> you know, um, so, and uh, 
I needed a leading man um, to play the part of the leading man, and so John Randall agreed that he would um, do this little um, melodic movie with me, a song called My Antonia. <clears throat> So here's another song I've been doing for years. I'm a big Towns Van Zandt uh, fan. Um, first heard him at a little club. Uh, I was opening for him at a club called Gertie City, Folk City in New York City when I was uh, working for $100 a week. And uh, <laughs> those were the days, my friend, we're glad they ended, but I think um, we all need those days. <laughs> we have to pay those kind of dues. but. One of the good things about uh, that was I, uh, those days, I heard a lot of great people in those clubs in, in New York. Um, um, Jerry Jeff Walker and Towns Van Zandt. Saw Linda Ronstadt for the first time at the bitter end, and I was so jealous. And then we became just best, best, best friends. Um, so I digress, but this is a, a Towns Van Zandt song that um, I'm so happy to have John Randall singing this with me. So kick it off there, Wichita. If you need 
Okay, here's a... I don't often get asked to play weddings because usually my songs are really sad. Um, except for the ones I did earlier. But uh, this one... Uh, <laughs> It's a cautious song for, for a wedding. You can dance, every dance with a girl Gives you the eye and let her hold you tight You can smile, every smile for the girl Like to treat you right near the pale moon But don't forget You know, I've played with many talented and famous musicians, but I'm always most humbled by the stories of people like Jack, Lillianne, Brianna, and the countless other children and adults who are living with NF. Some years ago, I received a Grammy nomination for a song called We Believe in Happy Endings, a song about how life can take hard turns, but that even a simple smile or a good word can change everything. So while I know that your NF journey is a tough one, I can promise you that because of the work of the Children's Tumor Foundation and because of this special community of NF patients and families and friends, we believe, and hope you do too, that we can end NF, which would be a very happy ending indeed. I'm thrilled to have performed for you tonight with my dear friend John Randall. I wish all of you good luck peace and love for the rest of the year. And please, don't stop fighting, don't stop raising money, and always keep raising awareness for this very important cause. My friends, let's end in F. Wow, what an incredible performance, what an incredible voice, what an incredible message, so very special. It was just like being live in Nashville with you, Emmy Lou. Well, maybe not, maybe. but next year we want to be live. Yeah. <laughs> so Emmy Lou, Gavin, Danae, Lillian, Jack, Astrazeneca, and Jonathan, thank you for inspiring us tonight. The world is a better place because each and every one of you are in it.
Daryl, that's well, you, my you. friend. <laughs> <laughs> he was, he was, he got, he got caught up in your speech. <laughs> hey. It's the words well, of Emmy hey, Lou. Hello, everybody. Yeah. And thank you to everyone who joined us tonight from far and wide across this wonderful country and really all over the world. We're so grateful, even though it, I didn't seem like I, I mean that. We're so grateful for what you have done to help us achieve such a special goal. And now, speaking of our goal, let's see how close we've come to meeting that match. All right, Daryl, Raina, are you guys ready? Friends at home, are you ready? Let's get the drum roll going. Ladies and gentlemen, we have now officially raised $1,483,000 towards our $2 million. That's 1,483,000 mission critical funds to help NNF and over 600,000 towards meeting our match. That is just incredible, everyone. Thank, thank you, you, thank everyone. you, thank you. And here's one thing to remember. Our match does not end tonight. You can still donate tonight and through the end of the year to help us reach our million dollar match from our very, very generous donors. There are three ways to donate. You can go to our website, ctf.org slash celebration. You can text CTF donate to 41444, or you can do it the good old fashioned way. Call 1-800-323-7938, where we have staff members waiting to take your call. Again, a very special thank you to Frank and Shelly Houghton for their amazing gift tonight to support CTF's vision to end NF and inspire all of us to do even more. I'm amazed by how many incredible there, people there are to thank. And so here wow. goes, we have a big list. So thank you to these amazing donors, donors for helping us get closer to meeting our match. The Race Day Foundation, Laura and Anthony Perfetti. Hi guys. Eleanor Burge, Adam Chapman, Amy and Anthony Spinelli, Amy and Tom Osborne, Marilyn Bland, Pete Tangy, Allison Cote, Grandma Barbie and Bob Levine, the Schaefer family, Allison Listener, Patrice Panza, Matt Horvitz, Ali Douglas, Rose Match Suna, hi. Lisa Fallick Grossman, hi. Dylan Timal and Amy Cohen, hi. Everybody, I know those last couple. What an incredible night. And on behalf of Daryl, Jonathan, and myself, it has been a true pleasure being your host tonight. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you, Tumor Children's Tumor Foundation, for having us. Thank you, all of you, for tuning in tonight. God bless you. Daryl and Raina, it has been a joy to share this time with you tonight. I look forward to seeing you both in person. Friends and family of the Children's Tumor Foundation, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for your undying support and unwavering support. And now to close out our evening, please help me welcoming back the CTF's president, my dear friend, Dr. Annette Bacher. Good evening. Now comes the math teacher in me. So we raised $1.482,000, which is $564,000 to the match, or for $518,000 to the match, which brings us tonight to $2 million. How amazing is this community, inspired by the courage and strength of our NF patients, touching the hearts of all of us, and at CTF, I can tell you that we are honored and humbled to work for this unbelievable community focused on making lives better. Can anyone dream of a better job? Or is this even a job? Thank you so much. Thank you so, so much for this incredible night. The music, the MCs, the chair people, Everybody has made tonight amazing. Thank you and be well, be safe.
Thank you.